Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this one's going to be a little bit different. So a bit back I made a you know video going over the, the uh, you know, world's the most profitable uh, animal in the band. But I made a couple of mistakes in that so that and missed a few things out. So like, so I want to, so like with the pig I missed out the fact that I forgot that they don't produce anything in winter. And I didn't factor in rainy days, or didn't properly factor in the uh, the you know doubling from the chance to double from the uh, from the forager pick. So uh, we're, I'm going to redo all of the animals, and uh, you're going to watch, and uh, you can watch me do it. And uh, at the end, I'll go over each one, and uh, you know go from like least profitable to most profitable. And it, uh, um, you know, uh, we'll do that all. At, I'll do that all at the end. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see all my work now and everything, yes, you feel free to watch. But if you just want to know which are the most profitable and which are the, you know, and which are the least, just skip to the end. Anyway, so first we're gonna do the pig. So, uh, because you know some of these like. Well, the pig and sheep require the big barn uh, to be able to go in. We're going to use uh, the big barn. Assume that they, they will, you've got a full big barn of them. Uh, so, yeah. So, first off, we're doing the pigs. So, the pigs make truffles. but uh, So, each pig will make uh, one truffle a day, I believe. Uh by a pig on the farm and uh, can be prepared for many uh, pigs who eat every day mature after 10 nights have passed they mature and the death fed pig produces truffles every day if the conditions are met a truffle will sell for blah 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 so yeah uh, Pretext, pig has been fed, the pig has been fed. Chances to produce the first truffle. A pig has a 0.02% chance for each frame to generate a truffle. If it has not yet generated a truffle, truffle for the day, it is, and it is standing on a free tile. So yeah, uh, so yeah, can only spawn one truffle a day. So, that makes this easy. So. If it, can, if it can spawn one truffle a day, that's 28 days per month. But again, uh, not counting winter, so that uh, so I'm just going to get my calculator out. So that's 28 times 3. So that's eight. a single pig will produce 84. But then uh, we have rainy days that they won't to produce on. So that's um, a 24% chance. So, uh, so what, what I do uh, when I try to figure out like the, when I do, try to figure out like percentages. So right now we've got 84. So if we, if this was 100, this would be easy. I just take 24 off. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna divide the 84 by 100 to get 0.84. And then I'm going to times that by 24. So that's 20.16. So that's 84 minus. Yeah, uh, it was 20 point. Ah, I forgot what it was, but uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll redo that math then because I literally just forgot what it was. Uh, yeah, B. So yeah, anyway. Uh, divert, uh, so I uh, subtract 24.16 from 84, which means uh, um, each, pig, each pig is going to be producing 59.84 truffles in a year. Now, from there, you can get the uh, gatherer pick, which is... Uh, the best one of these two because that one just like drops 25% more wood which is like if you need a lot of wood you can probably switch that temporarily but uh, 
Gather where, gather where is just better. So that's a 20% chance to double, uh, double the harvest. So, uh, what, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, a 20% to this. So 59.84 divide by what? Hold on, let me just quickly screenshot this thing so I don't. Get it, so it's 59.84, divide by 100 equals, so that's 0 0.5984, times that by, I could have just copied and pasted it, anyway, times that by 20, so that's an bonus 11.6, 11 11.96 percent. Uh, so, just plug in the 59.84, 59.84, plus 11.968. So that's, so in a year, including rain, with the gatherer pig, a single pig will produce approximately 71.808 truffles every day. Now, uh, obviously, this there's a lot of RNG, um, including the other just like how many days of rain you get in a year. Like if you're unlucky, you get a bunch of days. It could be lower, uh, or if you get to unlucky with the uh, foraging pig, not giving you a ton of truffles, it's also going to be lower. But you could get lucky with not many rainy days, and you get a bunch of truffles from the gatherer pig. But um, uh, the longer you play this, you know, it, it's to get closer to this. So that's, hello, yes. Hi, Lily. You're lovely, ain't you? So hi, Daddy. I want attentions. Anyway. So, now that we have how much each pig will produce per day. A uh, per year, sorry. So we basically just take that. And we're going to multiply it by 12. Which is 861.696 truffles a year from a full big barn on average. So then we're going to take this and we're going to go back to the truffle. So... The truffle, a Iridium quality truffle, only sell, sells for 1,250 gold, which you can get, to, you know, Iridium quality 100% of the time if you have the, if you go uh, far enough. Botan, botanist, forage items are always highest quality. So, uh, that's not, uh, so there's that, but... That's not the most efficient way. Uh, if you have artisan, a truffle oil will sell for 1,491. But if you don't have artisan, then the original quality truffles are better. Uh, and artisan is in this one. So you need tiller, then artisan. So yeah. So you get both of them at the same time, but it's just like, oh, if you want to be a rat, but if you're going down rancher, then you're not, then I don't think you have access to it. Yeah, as it says here, t if you get tiller, uh, you get artisan or agricult ag agriculturist. If you get rancher, you get coopermaster and shepherd. But neither coopermaster or shepherd are really that good, so um, I would... Uh, I would recommend just going with Tiller, increase the value of your crops, which is better early game anyway, uh, which is when you'll be get unlocking that in the early game. And the, the, then uh, go Artisan. So, yeah. So we're going to be going off the Artisan Truffle Oil, if you would stop attacking my hand. So, we're going to take the uh, amount of truffles, and we're going to multiply that by the selling price of the uh, truffle oil so we times that by 1491 
Which means in a single year, on average, a uh, full uh, big band of pigs will be uh, uh, will uh, make you one million two hundred and sixty-eight thousand seven hundred and eighty-eight point seven three six gold in a year. So yeah, that that's a lot of gold. Um, now I want to actually compare. Uh, so I want to compare this to my original. Uh, that the original value that I uh, did. So let's see here. I have it noted down here. Smash Bros. Statue Valley. So I'm just going to put this so pig. Control V. Boom. So, pardon me. So those are the crops. Oh, going to pop profits. <laughs> Summer crops, spring crops, uh, yearly profit for each animal. So, uh, yeah, so my original number was one million seven hundred and ninety eight thousand. Actually, wasn't that uh, far off. I was just only, so, I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna, con, yeah, I'm gonna control, C. so my original estimate was 1,798,146 gold per year. So minus the actual value, I was only off by 513,357.264 gold, which isn't a ton, I was basically off by about a third, which isn't great, like, that is a bit of a bad, it is a little bit bad, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be to be honest I honestly thought I was going to be way more off but yeah after factoring in the uh, everything it seems like I wasn't you know I wasn't horribly wrong I was just a bit off but yeah uh, I'm making it right now anyway by recording this video and updating my uh, maths like you know uh I remember, I remember saying somebody saying something to like the tune of, "If you don't cringe at your past self, or if you're not like, embarrassed about like some stuff you did in the past, then that's bad because that means you've not grown and you've not learned to anything over those years." So yeah. Uh, so yeah, but even with this new figure, I think yeah, the even with this new figure. At least if all the others stay the same, the pigs are still going to be the most profitable animal. That's not a golden chicken. Uh, the golden chickens uh, are probably going to be more valuable. Uh, I don't know if I'll do... I'm not going to do the uh, coop animals in this one. I'm going to do... I'm just going to be focusing on barn animals. Animals. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go get the relevant information for the next animal. What's, what's the next animal going to be? I think I'm going to do cows next. I'm going to be getting it. So I'm going to go get the relevant information for cows. And the, the see what... To, uh, see if the numbers for them have changed or not. Anyway, uh, so this is in the end of the video. But for me, I'm going to be gone for a bit. For you, it'll be a few seconds. So, I've got all the relevant inf information up for the cows. So, uh, cows, when you buy the cow of money, you know, 50 50 chance to get a uh, different cow. You know, the white cow or brown cow, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but basically, once you get them up to high enough happiness, uh, they'll go from producing just one milk a day to one large milk a day. 
which is important because a large milk in a cheese press will give you gold cheese instead of regular cheese. So, uh, but this is all year round, so that's, uh, so what is, there's 28 days in every season, so that's 28 times 4. So 28 times 4, so that's 112 large, so again, we're, we're assuming large, they're all large milks, but for that you just need to keep them happy, which isn't too difficult, just give them a heater for winter, make sure they're fed, and just give them, uh, you know, attention in the mor every morning. It's not too difficult to keep them happy, and milking them also increases their happiness, uh, if you want to do that manually. So yeah, that's, uh, but then uh, we're going to, so we're going to convert this into Iridium quality cheese, which will take an extra seven days, but it does increase it from 345 to 460, which makes it more valuable than Iridium quality uh, large milk uh, with, uh, with the rancher. And also, uh, artisan gives you more than mancha uh, for it. So yeah, so that's six hundred and forty-four gold. So we will just times that times the cheat. So that's how many milks. So we're gonna times. So that's gonna come with. So yeah, just times that by 644, which gives us 72,128 gold a year. Now, uh, this one is a little bit disappointing because the pig, this is, yeah, so the pigs, uh, if it need be to it, so cow. Yeah, that's cow. Yeah, 72,000. What number did I come up out with last time? Last time I said that uh, sheep cows, 649. Thousand. How did I get that? All gold cheese cows produce every day and have the same health benefits as wheat cheese. So yeah, I was a bit off there. I don't know. One, two, three, seventeen, two. I don't know how I got six hundred and forty-nine thousand gold a year. Did I miss, have I missed something out? I did. So, yeah, I don't think I missed anything out. I'm going to go quickly double check everything and then I'll be, uh, and then if I've missed anything, I'll be back. And if I've not missed anything, then we're just going to move on to the next one. I did forget something. I forgot to multiply by 12 because that's, that's an individual cow every year so one cow every year produces 72,128 gold now i just need to multiply that by 12 which comes out to 865,536 gold a year it's a year that's going to be more than my original estimate. Where is it? Oh, uh, cow, 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 cow. 649k. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to subtract 649 
one, five, two. So that's an increase from my last estimate estimate of 216,384 gold per year. Uh, so I think last, yeah, last time I just assumed gold cheese, but uh, looking into it now, I just, yeah, I've just put me, so now it's a medium cheese, because it's only an extra week in the caskets, uh, but it does require you to get the max upgrade of house, which is a bit expensive. But it is the, bet. this is like, this is how much, like, you know, if you, this is like their max is what I'm looking for, not like. If you think, get you get one second. So, with uh, adding gold cheese into it, I am cheese. So, yeah. I feel better about that. So now I'll move on to the goat, which will probably, uh, I just closed everything. Anyway, uh, it'll probably be like uh, pretty much going over the same stuff, but with different news. Anyway, be happy. Okay, so goats. Uh, so got, you know, uh, one year, 28 times four. 112 days so they only produce milk once every two days so now i need to divide that by two so that's so they will be so a single goat will produce 56 milk a year and again once you get them high enough level this will be goat milk large goat milk instead of regular so um You'll assume it's a large goat milk and you're putting it into the cheese press to get gold goat cheese and you're putting it into the casket to age it for seven days and then selling it for at 1,120 times 1,120 and then we multiply that by the amount of goats. So then times that by so each individual goat is gonna produce sixty-two thousand seven hundred and twenty gold a year. Times that by twelve, that's seven hundred and fifty-two thousand six hundred and forty gold a year. Which makes it less than the cow actually. Which I'm a little bit surprised at. Now, I think that I think there's a little uh, there's going to be a little bit of an asterisk asterisk here, to where uh, I think cows are more profitable, like it, uh, less profitable earlier on because uh, there's no that's another. I think. Uh, hold on. Let me just double check here. So if I go to the casket, you can see here. Yeah, so goat cheese. If you're just selling straight up goat cheese, they are more profitable. But when you get into aging, um, because, yeah, that's four, no, 460. Yeah, it, because that'll take two days and that will take one one day. So that would be 460. You get two of them. So that would be 460 and that's just 400. So. While goat cheese, a single goat cheese is worth more than a single cow cheese because cows produce two a day. That gives them a slight edge over goats. Uh, and yeah, and you can see that trend continuing on throughout all this stuff. So yeah, uh, yeah, cows are more profitable, profitable than goats because of the uh, because they just produce more. And also cow cheese um, and goat cheese have the same uh, nutritional value, basically. They heal you the same amounts. So there's really no reason to get goats. Because you can get cows with like the regular barn. They're just uh, more profitable. Yeah, they're just straight up more profitable. Just, just go with cows. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready for the next one. Right, so next up is the sheep. So, uh, oh, wrong tip. Uh, a mature sheep uh, uh, grows its wool every three days if it is fed and has at least 70 happiness. But having at least 4.5 hearts or 900 uh, friend points of friendship reduces the time by one day. The shepherd profession, so we are going to factor that in, but we're not going to factor in the fact that the shepherd profession reduces that by a day, make both together, making it so that they produce a wool every day, because uh, if we go back to skills, shepherd profession is this one, uh, which basically just, it basically just uh, only really benefits the sheep, because... Um, Two reasons. What reason number one? Uh, you know, she it makes the sheep produce wool faster. Reason number two is uh, uh, the improving the ba the barn product quality it only really helps the sheep at least so far because you know the uh, well I'm, I'll talk more about it later. But you know they're the only one that whose pro quality of their product uh, impacts the value so we're not going to go for shepherd because that, that's like hard because you'd only really take that honestly like going hard into sheep uh and also it requires you to get rancher uh and it also locks you out again adsense uh and yeah no this is just not uh gonna, i'm just not going to factor that in uh because this is because like because this is, this is meant to be like a general, um, you know, a general, uh, whatchamacallit. You know, this, this is meant to be like, for like every player. This isn't, this isn't like somebody like hard focusing it into these animals. It's like, oh, what is the best animal for somebody who's legitimately playing the game? And someone who's legitimately playing the game, uh, and doing other things that's not sheep is not going to pick up shepherd. Like again, I mentioned that here, and it, and it, to, and and at the, and at the end of the day, it's not going to impact too much. It's gonna give you plus one wall, and then that wall. It's basically gonna give you plus two wool every day. I mean, I, I we'll factor it in, in at the end, uh, just in case you want to go hard into it. But for the main number, I'm not really gonna factor that in. So. So we're going to take this wool, uh, wool, and we're going to turn it into cloth. So you, uh, in the loom, uh, we're going to assume it's gold. So we're going to assume one wool every day, and it's gold, giving you a fifty percent chance. Uh, seasons, so, so seasons. That's twenty-eight. Twenty-eight times four is 112 that's one that's five that's six that's 56 so plus 56 so that is a hundred that is a hundred and sixty eight cloth a year then we're gonna times that by 685, 685. So one sheep will produce 115,080 gold a year with this setup. Now I'm going to times that by 12. Times that by 12. To make one million three hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred and sixty, which is actually better than I thought it was going to be, because that puts it just below pig. That actually puts it above pigs. So 
yeah, he even without oh the just hit the enter key, but it's fine. So even without the uh even without the shepherd profession, it is still higher than it's they still produce more than pigs. I uh, yeah, just under a hundred thousand yeah, a little about a hundred thousand gold per year. I'm going to compare this to my original estimate. Yeah, so sheep originally were below pigs at 971,000 in my original video. So yeah, I was about 4,000 off. Just under. But that was with Shepherd. Uh, but I did factor in the... So, control C. So, I am just going to put here... It does require 900 plus friendship plus, or 4.5 hard with a, and it's a 50% boost from the wool quality. So now we're going to go all in. So how much could sheep produce if you were, if you go all in on them? So, uh, that's, 28 times 4. Eight, 4. So that's 28 times 4. So 112 wool every day with the shepherd profession. Uh, so yeah, they're capable. And then that's also going to Basically, and that's going to guarantee it to be a, a iridium quality. So, because of the, because of that last bit. Uh, so, putting that into the loom will give you a 100% chance of doubling it each time. So, now we're going to times that by 2. So, that's 224 cloth a year. Now, because we can't have artisan, we're going to have to factor in a rancher instead. The rancher price, so that's 564 gold. So it times that by 5, 6, 4 equals that's 126,336 gold per sheep per year then we're gonna multiply that by 12 for a full ban which is 1 million five hundred and the sixteen thousand and thirty two which is an increase uh yeah, it is a little bit more, but not much more. With shepherd profession. It's not actually that much more, really. It's just, so if I do that, minus one, Three eight oh nine six zero equals that's only an increase of a hundred and thirty five thousand and seventy two gold per year. 
And to be fair, I don't think it's worth it. Again, unless you're like going all in on sheep, which I don't know why you'd want to do, it's not really worth it because you're losing the artisan uh, perk, which boosts the value of way more stuff. Uh, and you also have the fact that your crops are growing slower. Like Later on in the game, you could uh, pay to like uh, change your abilities, uh, your uh, professions. But that is a lot of money because... And then it, you'd have to do that twice. Hold on, so... Uh, da -ba -ba -ba. Hold on. Reset. No. Hold on. If I go to the su su the sewer, this in the sewer. Statue of uncertainty. Here we go. Uh, after donating ten. So that's 20,000 gold. So if you were to do that, that would lose you 20, 200, 2,000, 20,000 gold, which would still mean you get, you make 115,702 gold more per year. So yeah, it's still pro more profitable. But there's a bit of faffing around, and I, I don't know, it's, it's up to you whether or not you think it's worth uh, that little bit extra more to be going back and forth uh, to squeeze every gold coin out. So, next up we're doing, and I'll have a look at the ostrich, and then I'll be right back. And last up uh, for this video is the ostrich. So, an ostrich... Uh, Produces an egg every uh, seven days. Uh, it can be placed in an incubator or sold for 600 gold. An ostrich egg can be placed in a mayo uh, mayonnaise machine to produce 10 mayonnaise of the same quality of egg. Uh, now, the egg quality, just like milk and, uh, and the other items quality, is based on f your friendship with the animal. So, higher friendship means, you know, higher quality thing which is uh which uh, which means i probably like slight underestimated the sheep one a little bit but oh well it yes i don't know if you can get iridium without the shepherd one i don't know so we're gonna assume that it's gold quality because i've never seen an iridium quality egg from like any animal uh, any like duck chicken or anything uh so I don't know if it is possible to just straight up get a medium quality ostrich egg. Probably is, but uh, yeah, just gonna assume that you get gold quality egg and then you get ten gold quality mayo. Um, but it's so I need to take the uh, twelve hundred and twelve days in the year, divide that by seven, so that to be sixteen eggs per year per ostrich. Then we want to multiply that by 10. So that's 160 mayo. Then multiply that by the, price, the selling price of gold mayo with artisan, which is 399. Which comes out to 63,840. Now we times that by 12 for the amount of ostriches. And that comes out to uh, 700, 766,080 gold per year for a full barn of ostriches. Uh, which is surprisingly low. It's just above Good, but below cow. Uh, 
I'm gonna put in there gold Q U L T E. So yeah, so the final rankings is at the bottom, GOAT with 752,640 gold a year. Uh, assume that you're aging it into a medium quality cheese. Uh, next up is Ostrich with 766,080 gold uh, a year of gold quality eggs. Cows at 865,536 gold a year. Aging the cheese to a medium quality. Pigs at 1,284,788.736 gold a year. Uh, accounted for rainy days, winter, and the gathering and the, the gathering skill. And then at the top is sheep with 1,380,960. Assuming that you have 4.5 hearts of friendship with the 50% boost from gold quality wool. Uh, And then if you have the shepherd's profession, that'll boost up to uh, 1,516,032 gold a year. Which is a bit, di- which is a bit different to the uh, original numbers I had. Uh, where are they? They're just below, below here. Yep. Uh, if the original ones was just like, yeah, where like the original pig, uh, according to me, was producing way more than what the sheep, what the sheep produce, right? With these revised numbers, she only produced nine hundred k, which would put them below uh, above cows and these uh, what. Cows produce 600k, 650k basically. Yeah, no, that was undershot. Goats produced five. Yeah, and I think the worst, uh, the biggest mistake I did here was ostriches. Originally, I put down ostriches as like uh, producing 364,800 uh, gold a year. So yeah, uh, it's good that I got to those numbers that we buy, you know, well not revised, but uh, corrected. Now I'm probably gonna, uh, I don't know if I've done, if I did anything wrong in the, uh, with the coupe ones, I doubt it. Cause they were very straightforward, but I'm gonna take another, I'm gonna take a look into them and uh, uh, redo them. But that's not a video for today. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video and bye bye.